guys, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. So, slightly little different of a setup. We're down the other end of the bed today because we are going to be having our little Christmas gift guide for him. Now, I when I watched the last one back, oh my god, I rabbited so much, didn't I? What can I say? And you're probably thinking, Shannon Lee, you look a little bit too glam. We have just filmed our festive get ready with me. So that's why the red lip is on. We've got a little bit of eyeliner. We've got some highlighter. We are popping. But I thought, you know what? I want to try and make use of getting the tree in the background. And can't really sit at the dressing table at the moment because it's a little bit cluttered with bits and bobs, let's just say. So hair is up we've gone for a cash hair with a bit of a full face glam in my calvin klein a little loungewear which we all know was the bargain that i picked up from the outlet earlier in the year and i thought today we can just have a little talk about a gift guide for him because i don't know about you but i find it extremely hard to buy for the men in our lives and i don't know why why do we find it such a struggle so we're gonna have a few different categories and again i'll be popping little pictures in and about there and trying to link as much as i can below for you so get comfy and let's get in with our christmas gift guide for him then shall we so i've got all the categories once again on my phone and what are we going to start with should we start with a classic which is aftershave now like a woman and in the gift guide for her, a lot of the gifts are personable to that person. They are very personal and you can't just say that it's like one present for all. It doesn't really work like that, does it? So as I said, like in the woman's one, there'll be like gifts, perfumes, makeups. It's all to do with that person. The main thing to remember, I think, my lovelies, is when you are doing a gift and getting someone something it's got to be relatable to them. Like, a little bit of thought goes into it, you know? And I love that. So, for me, aftershave, oh, it can bring back so many memories. So, I think I spoke about this before, but if anyone says to me, what is the aftershave that resonates you with Brandon? It is Dupont. I'll put a little picture in here. It is a classic. And every bank holiday Christmas occasion, it always goes in a sale. But, always keep an eye out because sometimes you can get i think it's 125 mil which is the big boy for half price and i'm quite fussy i won't buy perfumes or aftershaves really less than 100 mil because i think the amount you pay for say a 50 or a 30 you might as well just buy the big one sorry if i like i'm trying not to move my head because we've got the ring light behind so we're just kind of like blocking out the light normally we're blocking out the haters but today we're blocking out the light and we're going like slightly backlit which is it going to be a vibe? Who knows? All I know is I've got my Christmas tree in the background. So, yes, um, I just think the price that you pay for, say, like a 30 or a 50 mil, you can put a little bit extra and just get the big bottle. So, for me, a great everyday male perfume that's not too expensive. It's about, I want to say in the region of, like, 10 to 15 pounds. I like the Ted Baker women's. You can actually get a Ted Baker men's, which is in a little blue bottle. As I say, prices and little pictures will be put back there. It is normally, as I say, about 10 to 15 pounds, and you can pick it up perfume shop, boots, and also super drug, I think, is the main place that I normally get it. And, of course, you have Amazon. I mean, you can pretty much get everything and anything on Amazon, can't you? So, I love that one. Also, Davidoff. Oh my god, Davidoff is such a throwback. And I don't think it's too badly priced. It used to be in the region of about 25 to 30 pounds for 100 mil, which I think is quite quite common in a male aftershave. And then obviously you have the really expensive ones that we're going to get into in a little minute. Davidoff Cool Water. Oh my god, it's such a throwback. And then you have the likes, I think they're around 20 pound a bottle. Ed Hardy. Who remembers Ed Hardy? You used to get the tall black bottle with the tigers on for the men. Absolutely love that. Moving up the scale, you can have maybe like Ralph Lauren, Calvin Klein. What's another one? I love a bit of Davidoff. I just keep thinking Davidoff now. What have I got, Brandon? Calvin Klein. Hugo Boss. That's a nice one. Armani Code. That's quite a popular like with everyone. But I don't know why it fits in with women's as well, but Tom Ford. Why is Tom Ford so expensive? Please tell me. Do they do, like, different... I don't know. Is it different stylings, different scents? I don't know why it's so expensive. And another very expensive one for men is Creed, which I have heard a few of the men at work talk about, but I'm not a bad 
pay in that much for a bottle of our show. And as I say, with Brandon, he's pretty much like, he's happy with dupe. When I get him some other ones, he's like, I don't need any. I've got dupe. But I think he's getting a little collection from my uh, purchases. I bought him the Machino Teddy Bear Black for men. Obviously, because I've got the two and I thought if we ever move out and we keep the bottles, they're going to be like a nice little selection, you know. And then as I say, he's got Hugo Boss, Davy Darth, he's got a few Calvin Kleins and Ralph, but he does stick with his dupe. Dupe actually do quite a wide selection. I'm sure if you see him online, you have Dupe Hom, which is the original. And then I think you have Dupe Go, Dupe Jump. And they're all, I think Dupe Jump is the green bottle that's very citrusy, if I remember correctly. I think so. And another one that, oh my God, what's the name? Izzy Miyaki. I think that's quite a high-end one. See, I need to, I haven't been out for shops for quite a while. I think with this whole thing of masks being brought in, I'm just like, I can't, I can't be bothered, you know? So I think I might actually have a little look on Perfume Shop. Don't quite know where to get Brandon for his main present. He probably don't want an aftershave, but you can't really go wrong with it. Aftershave is just kind of like a given, ain't it? So, yes, I think that is like a little aftershave. And another thing that you cannot go wrong with, boxers and socks. I've said this in the pretty much the majority of the hauls that we've got, boxers and socks from Black Friday weekend, you can't go wrong with. I, no matter what the occasion for Brandon, he will always get boxers, socks, links, shower gel he knows he's getting them regardless of what else he gets because they are staples and that's stuff that he always needs boxers he's not really fussy once again i'm one i'm like do you want these you want these he's like boxers are boxers so you have run of the mill let's have a look let's have a look jack jones you get quite a few nice styles on asos and then you have your Calvin Klein's, your Tommy Hill figures, your Levi's. You know what I saw the other day and Brandon said, please do not get me them because they are a complete waste of money. I didn't think they was. I thought they could be like your best pants, you know, like your best boxers. Vivian Westwood boxers. Now, we all know I love a bit of Vivian Westwood, don't I? I mean, my handbag collection is just... Speaks for itself. I absolutely love the designer. And when I saw she done male boxers, I was like... Ah. Where's the women's underwear, Viv? You're catering for the men. What about the women here? And I think it was about £75 for two pairs of boxers. And he was like, do you know I would be so scared to wear them? I was like, why? He was like, well, what if you had an accident? Or he was like, you wouldn't want to get anything on them. And I was like, I thought they was quite nice, to be perfectly honest. And he said, if you buy them, you're taking them straight back. So I was like, Ugh me trying to be nice though but i do see like in the hindsight it is quite expensive ain't it but i just thought hey ho you only live once and let's say they could be his nice special boxes but you don't want them so i'm gonna stick with like the matalan matalan's a great place as well i picked him up quite a few there and where else do i normally get him asda sometimes he don't even mind a few little asda ones he's just like he's not fussy with boxes at all my lovelies he's just like it's there for a purpose like a woman's underwear is there for a purpose, but yeah. Primark, can't remember last time I got in Primark, but Primark do a lot of selection of men's, if I remember. So they have, is it boxer, hipster? You get like the little speedo vibes, if that's your vibe. And then they do what ones with buttons, one with the pouch. It's a lot. Honestly, with a woman, you have a knicker. Well, as you know, us women, we have quite a lot, don't we? Look at me digressing here. You have a knicker, you have a Brazilian, you have a mini, you have a bikini, you have a G-string, you have a thong. You have a cheese wire that's like thinner than a uh, G-string. Tankini, high-waisted, I think. There's loads, actually, yes, there is quite a lot. Mum always says, like, you think how much money you would save if you was a man because you literally just have boxes. With us women, we have to have the briefs, we have to have the bras, and bras are not cheap. Mm -mm. no they are not so i think men they get away with quite a lot didn't they but as i say yeah can't go wrong boxers aftershave socks they are a staple my lovelies let's have a look electricals so as i said on the woman's one this is all dependent on what they like so they might be someone who is really into their phone so they might want some phone gadgets some phone cases screen protectors everything like that Screen protectors is actually another one that I pretty much buy every Christmas for Brandon because they are always so handy to have. They may, for example, like Brandon, be into gaming. So it may be a new gaming controller, depending if they're like console or computer. If they're computer, you can go on Curry's and you can get like 
keyboard sets, mouse sets with the little uh, mouse mat, like a whole little set. You can get lights that go into the towers. And then what I did by Brandon, um, not last Christmas, the Christmas before. Last Christmas was COVID, Christmas before. I bought him a new gaming chair off of, was it Amazon or Argos? One of them. Now, I never realised that gaming chairs could be so expensive. You can get some that like bucket seats that play the music through the chair, everything like that. I just got him one that could kind of be used as an office chair as well if he wanted to. It was red, black and white, which he wanted. It's got the nice high support because before he kept saying that he was getting like really bad back support. So it had the lumbar bit, it had the adjustable headrest. But I have seen another one. Oh, oh. Perfume Direct, an extra 12% off gift sets. Look at that, eh? Um, I have seen another one that's got heated seats on it. But there's nothing wrong with his. So maybe, like, if we move out and he has, like, his own games room, I could treat him to a new little work chair. But, yeah, for now, he doesn't need anything like that. Another thing, if that into gaming and computing, could be, like, headsets, microphones, recording devices, anything at all that may be, like, of use to them even down to you know you can get the clips that you can clip on the side of say a unit and put your phone or tablet in i think they're called lazy arms they're really good so as i say electricals oh speakers headphones cameras whatever it's going to sound like repetitive but whatever is to do with them not everyone is the same so they might like i don't know i went through a stage where i really like retro electronics so i wanted the cassette player i wanted the old cd player like how i was with a kid you know like you used to have a walkman and that and i've asked for something for christmas that fingers crossed i get because it's gone down in the sale quite a lot it's gone down to 90 pounds instead of about 400 the only thing is, Mama G doesn't know how to do online shopping. So maybe Dada might be able to help or she might have to ask Brandon or someone to help her. But fingers crossed, Santa brings it because it is by the brand Crosley. Now, Crosley, they do like the records, everything like that. That is what, when someone says to me, think of vintage music, I think of Crosley, Marshall, Marshall may be a clue as to what I've bought as a little Christmas present from me to me. But you'll have to see on the wall I got for Christmas for that. And then obviously like this generation is like Bose, Beats. I love all of my tech. Like I'm not going to lie. I'm not really a gamer. I do love my old PSP and I was contemplating getting the Nintendo Switch. But so I've asked for this Crosley unit and Nana G back in the day, you know the big hi-fi we've got in the living room. So it's like from the 60s, I think. And each tier is a different thing and then they all stack on each other. So you had the record player, the radio, the cassette, the CD. And there was like, I think something where me and my granddad, we used to like alternate all like the sounds, like synthesizers or something. And it was basically one of them, but all in one. So it is a bit chunkier. It's about that tall and wide, but you've got the record player on top and then you can connect to it via Bluetooth as well. So it's got the modern element, connect it to the TV and then you have your cassette and your CD player on it and radio. And I've seen it and seen it. I kept my eye and I say it's been on the sale since Black Friday. So it's still on sale and there's still stock. So like I'm praying that Mama G has bought that or Dada's bought it or Santa's bought it. Or because that is something that I really want when I move out. I want like a little music corner where I want something like that. I want, I have my own little record player. Oh, ay, ay, ay. I have my own record player, so I want that out as well. And then I've got my two little record boxes, as we all know. I just want, like, a retro corner. And you're going to laugh. I've always wanted a jukebox. <laughs> I have always wanted a jukebox, and I keep seeing them online. But, again, that's not something that... Can you imagine if I bought that and had to store that here? I think Mama G would lose the plot. But, yes, anyway, totally digressing. Tech, I think, is such a wide section. Again, there's so many areas for me. I like tech within my cameras, my computing for, say, editing and audios. Whereas Brandon, he's into, like, his gaming, his consoles and everything like that. So, yes, tech, I don't think you can go wrong with. And as I say, you haven't got to think buying tech, it's going to cost hundreds and hundreds. Tech is down to, like, a screen protector, a new phone case, a cleaning cloth, anything like that. 
I would be happy, I've said to mum that I've seen one on Amazon, but she says she's going to look about in like some of the little shops. I need like a camera cleaning kit because my little lens there, she's getting a little filthy, let me tell you that, all right? So I need something to try and shimmy her up. And also, I want to try and find something that stops her fogging. When I record in the kitchen sometimes, she gets a bit misty. And when she's in the bathroom, she gets misty because of the condensation. So kind of want to get something to do that and just give it like a little overall clean, you know? And would you look at that? I've digressed so much. We've waffled so much off topic. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh, my God. I've got new lashes on that I put on for the video. And no, they've stayed on, thank goodness. I say, I think I'm going to have to have a little switch around, my lovelies, because this light is going in and out, ain't it? Right. Let me switch this around and we'll come back and we'll get on some more categories. See if we can try and find those presents for the mystery men in our lives, eh? <laughs> That's a bit better, ain't it, my lovelies? As I say, I really wanted the Christmas tree in the back, but the lighting was just getting a bit of a nightmare, weren't it? So, we've done aftershave, like essentials, like boxes and all that. Tech. Right. Another one that I think it could be very hit and miss, but if you get it right, you can get it right. And that is jewellery. So... I know jewellery isn't to every man's taste. Brandon, he doesn't really wear much jewellery. He's not one for like a necklace, a ring, a bracelet, anything like that. But one thing he will always wear is his watch. So he has a regular watch that I think he got off of Amazon for work. And then he's got one of his nicer watches. I was contemplating getting him a really, really nice watch this year. But he said he didn't want one. And it's very particular with the style of watch that he likes. So I thought perhaps that might be one for say birthday for example. But if you're looking for watches and you have no idea where to start. First place I would recommend is Argos. So Argos do loads of different varieties of brands, price points, anything like that. I, not going to lie, don't know much about watches. Don't really know much about watches for women to be perfectly honest. I have a few. I have a Michael Kors and a DKNY. And a Vivian Westwood. Gold, silver, rose gold. That's it. I have seen a watch that I would really like. But I think it's more of a present. Probably like when I'm 30. You know, like to really treat myself. But for a man, there's one brand that I don't think you can go wrong with. And that's Hugo Boss. I think if you can get them on a good deal, you're laughing. H. Samuel always have a good offer. And then you can look on the likes of Beaver Brooks, Goldsmiths. There's one in a shopping centre in Essex called, not, you've got Ernest Jones, I don't think that's it, Ems, Emson, Emson Haig, Emson Haig, it's like a big one and it has everything like up to Chanel, mm. Goldsmiths I know do the likes of like Breitling, I think that's how you say it, Breitling, Breitling and Rolexes which, whew, I saw a gorgeous Rolex right, Saw the price tag and then the next day I saw an article on the Daily Mail about someone who was possibly having their hand chopped off to get the watch off of their arm. Is it worth it? I think as I've got older, I am kind of like second guessing what I buy now, which is not right, I don't think. If you go out and you work hard and you look after yourself and you want to treat yourself to something nice... I think you should be able to. The fact that it aggravates me that there are people out there that think they can just take what you've got. Like, no, 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 no. I don't think that's right at all. And mm, you've worked hard for that. You should be able to have something nice without thinking, oh, my God, like, it's a target. For example, I want a new car. I've got a little old Fiat 500, but she's true. She's very well due. Oh, thank you, Mr. Glade. A renewal. And I've seen a few Aldis that I like. But to me, I think... <sighs> Bug is great. I love her. She's quick and nippy. She's cheap to run. I would like a bigger car. But then I think with a bigger car, you're just... Is it just going to be a target? You see people get stopped at traffic lights and get told to get out of the car. People, and then you have all these devices that try and, like, scan everything. Brandon, for example. When was it? Two and a half years ago, maybe? He had his car next. He had a Ford Fiesta. 
and I don't know if it was like it up north, but in the southeast, Fords, even now, Fords are such a hot car to take. I don't know what it is. They have them gadgets where they like scan it and Fords are gone left, right, centre. All you ever see on our little village page is this is missing, this is missing, Range Rovers again. And Fords, it seems to be either Fiestas or Cougars. I don't quite know why. I don't know if they sell them for parts, what they do at all. But Brad and I had a little Fiesta. And I say it was a little Eco Boost. And yeah, that went. So when he got the big car, I was like, just get a run around. Because I think if a house has been targeted, because his dad had his car nicked a few years ago before Brandon. And that was an Audi A7. So when Brandon said he was getting an Audi A5, I was like, you know, you have to try and think like both cars were nicked in that household over a couple of years, which is probably just like freak luck. But to me, I just get a bit weary about stuff like that. And I said like, you don't do the miles for it, just get a little run around. But he wanted that and touch wood, it's all been good. With good old bug that I've got, there ain't no way no one is scanning her key because she's an old fashioned. I've got to put my key in an unlocker, right? We're going back to basics with my girl. So if someone wants to get in her, they're going to have to smash a window. And trust me, if I hear someone smashing my window, Shaniqua's going out there and telling them to get away from my car or else. All right? Don't be waking me up in the middle of the night smashing my window because I ain't got time to deal with that when I need to go to work, all right? But yeah, it does aggravate me. And as I say, I saw this gorgeous Rolex watch and I thought, you know what? I would love to have that, but I would be so scared to wear it. And as I've got older, as I say, you'll probably see more in my handbag collection that will be up. Don't quite know when it will be up, but um, I haven't bought myself a proper designer handbag for about two and a half, three years because I'm not going to lie, I still do get weary. And it sounds so silly because they are just normal designer handbags that you can get pretty much everywhere and anywhere at the moment. But there is, as I say, one handbag that I really want that if I earn enough my first year of user, I want it to treat myself, to be like, you done that girl. It's a bag that I've wanted ever since I was 16. Just to pat on the back and being like, you've done it, you achieved it, treat yourself. But I will be scared to take it out. And I don't think, you shouldn't be scared to take your belongings out. No one has the right to take what you've got. Anyway, totally digressed there, didn't I? It's supposed to be a gift guide for me, Shannon, and you're sitting there ranting on. But anyway, as I said, watches, I don't think you can go wrong with. Um, it all depends whether they like a link strap, whether they like a material strap, a leather strap anything at all i think watches are such a staple and it's like i don't know for women handbags and perfumes some men collect watches so that could be like their little collection if you do like for example bracelets um id bracelets you know like del boy got rodney i love a good old-fashioned id bracelet my granddad used to have one and my granddad's knuckles would be covered with rings right if he was missing a ring on his finger he was not fully dressed but i don't really see many men now wearing rings I don't know what it is. I've asked Brandon before, like, did he want, like, a nice necklace or a chain? And he's like, that's not a bit of him. He doesn't really like that. So, yeah, I would say jewellery, like, especially watches, is a very good thing. Hit and miss, I'm talking from personal experience with Brandon, clothing and footwear. I know some men that are more fussy about their clothing and footwear than women. Extremely fussy. And Brandon is very particular as well. I've done all right. The pits that I've bought... He hasn't moaned about. Well, not to my face. Not to my face he hasn't moaned. But, um, yeah, that can be very hit or miss. So what I would tend to do, if I haven't kind of, like, tested the water with him, I would say, for example, get him a gift card or give him money or give him, like, an IOU being, like, you have X amount to spend when we next go out to this shop to buy this. So it could be that you think, I want them to have a really nice coat but I don't quite know their style. But if you know the shop you want it from or the style, you can say that. So kind of you're giving half a present and then they're doing like the finishing touches and deciding what they want. And then it's not a waste of money, is it? I know Brandon with his footwear especially is very particular. I haven't yet bought him any footwear. Four years together, I'm not buying him trainers or anything like that because I just think I'll get completely loop-de-loop -loop up. But as I say, I bought him a few bits for his birthday before and like hats, he loves a cap. And that's one thing that always sticks in my head from when we first met and went on our first date. In work, like, obviously, you're suiting and booting and all that. And then when we went out on our first date, I didn't recognise him. He come in, he had his Timberlands, jeans, he had, like, a little khaki bomber jacket and his cap. 
that he had back to front, I think. And I was just like, oh, he looks very different to the guy at work. And we all know I love a hat. If it's me fedora, if it's me caps, I love a bit of hat. So, yeah, he has a good bit of style. So, yeah, try maybe if you really want to get them something like footwear clothing, but you're just that little hesitant, I would do a gift card and you could, as I say, just be a little bit suggestive with what you want. So, like, we're going to go to this shop and it's going to be this style. Oh, ego. Can't buy any more shoes. I have no room at all. Um, yeah, so you could do something like that. And then I think another little area, kind of different to women's, but not saying that women aren't into sports, but something... Go away now. How rude. Another little thing that could be very custom to them, and you can go down so many routes, is sports. So say, for example, they like football. You've got endless routes. You could buy season tickets. You could buy match tickets. You could buy football shirts. You can buy personalised items. You can buy calendars, socks, clothing, apparel, anything like that. They like boxing. You can buy some boxing gloves. You can buy boots. You can buy their favourite um, boxers, books, videos, anything like that. Videos, DVDs. God, I was regressing in the uh, olden days. There weren't I, Chanel Um, Again, it's completely personable, but I do think sport... If I don't know what to get Brandon or Dada, Brandon, he does like football. He likes a bit more basketball. So, like, a few years ago for his birthday, I bought him, like, a big basketball that he wanted. You can get, like, basketball jerseys, bits and bobs like that. Dada, he prefers, like, golf, cricket, boxing. So, if there's anything that I can't think of what to get, I just gravitate to, like, anything to do with sport, whether it be bedding it's probably gonna sound so weird he has quite a few like newcastle united bedding because obviously he's the geordie um anything for the house any like little quirky bits you know like notebooks pens anything like that so again that's very personal and it might not be to everyone's taste so let's say some men might just like not like any type of sport but they could be in for example i don't know into the gym I know many people, you'll think that because they go to the gym, they're all into their sports and they can't give two flying hoops about the sport, but they like the gym. So again, if someone's like perhaps trying to get into fitness in the new year or working on themselves, a fitness tracker, you would have seen in my latest deals, Amazon haul. I found a great one on a bargain. If you want to splash the extra cash, you could get Fitbit, I suppose, or you could get them weights, you could get resistance bands gym apparel anything like that as i say it's all dependent upon that person and you're probably thinking shannon you sound like a broken record but it really is my lovelies and as i say that should be what the gift giving is all about and as i said you don't need to spend a fortune this is the thing that i said in the female gift guide a gift is special because it comes from that person to the person that you love it shouldn't matter whether you spend a pound a hundred pounds a thousand pounds it doesn't matter money is irrelevant as long as you took some time and thought into that, that is what is going to matter to that person, all right? And I feel I am rabbiting away, so I'm going to round it up on the last one, which was in the gift guide for her. But again, there is so much I think you can get out there for men, and that is experience days. So say, for example, you have afternoon tea, you have weekend breaks away, but if, say, someone is, and I'm looking at these for me, right, a thrill seeker, you've got Go Apes, Segways, the cars. There are so many car experiences on Virgin Experience Days. It will blow your mind. I would love to do something like that. I know that Brandon's dad has done one and he's got the little picture of him in the car and he says like he absolutely loved it. I don't know whether I would want to do like a fast car, a vintage car. I would love to do like a monster truck. Can you imagine me in a monster truck? motorbikes actually i don't know if you can do a motorbike if you don't have a motorbike license i'm not entirely sure but then again on the experience days there's like a the stadium tours so i think you have football stadium tours i think you can go to cricket grounds and then you can go to certain matches and like certain things to do with sports um yeah experience days i think are great and as i say if you really want to splash the cash you could perhaps get a season ticket for their favourite team if it was football or maybe like start to buy some tickets for any other venue that they like. Say, for example, boxing matches. I know that when tickets come out for boxing matches, they are like hotcakes and <laughs> fly out the window on that. But I don't want to waste any more of your time because I'm sitting here just rabbiting. And to be honest, you probably know all of the gifts that you're going to get your men. It's just me. I try and think everything outside the box when actually it's probably everything in the box, ain't it? <laughs> 
so my lovelies that is the end of another little christmas guide as i say i will have tried to put little photos in and about and i'll try and leave as much as i can link down below for you but as i say please don't think it is the price tag that matters with the present it is the thought and just the specialness from the person that it's come from to be perfectly honest as i say brandon would be happy if i just bought him sweets sweets and food he's happy and maybe a case of magnus or copperberg he's not hard to cater for and neither am i as i say my one i would be happy if someone got me like some primark pearl earrings and some bed socks absolutely love it and as i say i think with the way the world's going at the moment and a lot of people might think i don't just want to buy stuff for the sake of it that's why i think the experience days are such a good little gift because it's something to look forward to and as i say I just think there's so much uncertainty at the minute. We need something to look forward to, don't we, my lovelies? But as I say, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do, guys. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Let me know in the comments, do you find it hard to buy for the men in your life? Or is it just me? Do you have men in your life that when you ask them what they want, they're just like, meh, whatever. Yeah, whatever you want, darling. Like, I'm not fussed. And actually, they really are fussed. Have you ever bought a man in your life something and it's not been quite bright? maybe like a gift from hell or not quite the reaction that you uh, would have hoped for i would like to know down below but as i say i will let you get on with your evening because we are still on track for our 44 daily uploads back to back and you are probably sick of seeing this face every day and then you have a very very long vlog on sundays for vlogmas which you all seem to be loving at the moment so thank you so much for the love and all the comments on not just vlogmas on all of the videos to be honest my lovelies but as i say take care stay safe as always and i'll see you tomorrow for another video who knows what it's gonna be what's tomorrow i think this is going up thursday so it's gonna be friday oh it's a good one tomorrow make sure you got your notification bell turned on because you're not gonna want to miss it all right my lovelies take care stay safe as always and as i say see you tomorrow all right bye